this is AKM Ashik Uzzaman and today we are going to present our research that is video key frame extraction and fire and smoke detection with deep compact convolution neural network. This is a video recorded presentation for international conference on smart media and applications or SMA 2020 for September 17 to 19 in Jeju. Now, we are going to talk a little about our research project and who, what we have done. So, video keyframe extraction is a process that uh, extracts the keyframe from the videos. Now, in this research, we are going to introduce the problem or, uh, which we have tackled and we, what we have proposed for this problem and the related work related from for this research and our proposed methodologies. Finally, we are going to talk about the experimental setup and the result analysis of this video. So, there is an overview you can see in the screen for this research. Now, I'm going to introduce the research. Now, fire and smoke is the biggest tragedy in the contemporary human society. So, there is according to the report that is Central Fire Statistics in Europe that 21st century they are registered 2.5 million dollar worth of fire accidents and with their maybe 20,000 to 30,000 approximated that is related to fire and other injuries. So it is vitally important that we need to develop a system that can detect the fire and smoke in the real time. Now the main problem of this in the real time that many deep learning neural networks that are exceptionally good in detecting fire and smoke but those are extremely computationally expensive to run and thus a uh, viable system with this uh, deep learning model will be very very difficult to run. For example, now there are some research that can optimize the SSD net or single shot uh, detection box that can uh, detect uh, fire and smoke in real time but running that model on a computer that is have a moderate kind of resource like seven core i7 CPU and everything that will be extremely difficult uh, to run in a real frame rate and get the result. So for this thing we have to develop a new deep learning model that is both lightweight in computation and uh, detection uh, and it is specialized in detecting this fire and smoke in the video frames. Also the surveillance video they, are, they don't have any significant data for a long time. Most of the surveillance video as you can see that doesn't have anything for a long time or any movement because it, uh, it can be well as a insignificant time of the video so new due to the nature of these videos uh, we have to find a system that is optimized not to see in every frame rather than the important frame this is why we have proposed a keyframe system so this is our problem statement that we need a new improved and accurate unique frame extractor and a less computational power consuming framework that can combine this unique frame extraction system and convolution neural network together so that we have a system that can detect the fire and smoke and from the extracted frame of this um, CCTV footages. So in this research we have developed a new unique frame extraction method from the video based on the segmented histogram distances from the color channel which is the RGB. So basically the input of this uh, research is the frame video that consists some of the fire or smoke. This type of algorithm gives you more flexibility to present unique frame detection model resulting in more accurate detection and extraction. On the other side of this research, we have also proposed a neural network uh, detecting fire and smoke that use the node pruning strategy for lightweight application and that it can help faster computation and edge-based deployment where the computational loss is high and often the scarcity of computational resources have been observed. Even though there are much research specially focused on fire and smoke detection and the detection system, the majority of this research lack real-life application feasibility. 
for example, many of these systems require very high computational power. So, for your daily life uh, uh, consumption, it will be rendered useless. The traditional method also applies some kind of filter or kernel based feature extraction um, or some kind of focused pre processing that will lead to very custom solution and impractical into real life where the situation is dynamic and can change every time. Some of the uh, previous research that focused on wavelet and SPM and other process, those are effective but again the problem generalized as the data is very dynamic and not uh, con uh, con uh, concave to any specific sequences. A video based uh, smoke detection scheme for smoke pattern and other system has been devised but not to combine the whole fire and the smoke and both detection system. Now the, in the related works of our research we have discussed a little bit about uh, uh, other people's work and how we have combined these to get a new system. In the proposed methodology we have talked about how the color distor uh, uh, histogram can be used to get the uh, uniform distraction. Uh, as a basic uh, model, so all of these images are combined of three color, are uh, red, green, and blue. So this RGB can be plotted as a histogram, and all of this uh, histogram can be expressed as a 2D uh, system, and we can compare two histogram of the two frames together. In our proposed system, we used two type of comparison. One is the distance or the um, separation category that is we call uh, that is called voltage area distance and we use the correlation system to see how much similarity uh, those both of the two frame of the histogram have now in the proposed system first we compared the correlation and we made the correlation then we use the voltage area distance for measuring the distance then the total uh, color, uh, coloration of the calculation uh, of the system has been calculated based on the mean values of each uh, channel that is R and G and B. So in the re um, related article you can find all the uh, equation that is there for all RGB profiles. Now in the system there uh, had to be a uh, threshold value to uh, calculate and uh, what are the unique frames from the whole collective uh, frame so uh, we have proposed a correlation system that ca ca uh, calculate the whole um, value of each frames uh, based on the other and uh, it takes the mean value of uh, mean value and the first uh, segment derivative from the uh, uh, from the whole uh, uh, frame set. So basically, we have selected only the uh, six, uh, top 33 percent different frame in a video. So, by uh, using this top 33 percent video, we can always uh, select the most unique frames from one video. As you have, you can see there are some potential distance of one video and the correlation of the unique video, and we can conclude that from the cutoff scene that most of these uh, have almost same uh, similar frames rather than some different in based on the distance or the correlation now on the other part of this research we will talk a little bit of the convolution neural network so basically we used the old age convolution neural network or the classical neural network it has a convolution non-linearity and also we have used batch normalization for getting the result converged in the real time learning. So this is the proposed uh, CNN that we have used and we in our system there are six convolution layer with three uh, fully connected layer. The output of the fully connected layer is three that denotes fire, smoke or normal images. So the network pruning is done by we rank all the no, uh, networks layer weight and we use the normalization that gives the least, uh, least performing nodes on one layer. Then we use the ranking to delete all the nodes that is uh, in one layer. 
So in our purpose pruning system, we use this um, ranking system as you can see in the images and we pruned around 3 million nodes and uh, thus we take almost 65% of the original compression rate of the neural network. So also in the experiment we use as, uh, we used 12 fire videos and 11 uh, smoked videos and the normal videos from uh, open source data set. We use the data augmentation system that use the particle rotation as some of the data set can be rotated at any time. Also we used a 0.5% random zoom system. So the result there are the correlation based system that gives the best uh, result. Also the prune nest work can be done on very fast. Here are the, some results we have compared with uh, a system that run on a CPU with our system and the, our processing frame systems here. So in conclusion you can see the, uh, uh, the result actually drops a little for the uh, for the pruning but in final term we combine both the fire and the images that gives a very high accuracy result so often the same images have both fire and the smoke that's why the configuration matrix of this uh, our neural network proves our theory and it doesn't matter if it is it uh, detects fire or smoke if we get the result from the both two class it will be the same precaution for our objective so in conclusion neural network nowadays making a huge impact of fire and smoke detection system but although there are many uh, video frame processing d c n n exist we need a different type of system because of this research allocation so in this system we propose a new video keyframe extraction and uh, detection with the deep neural network that is faster than all the current system and it is very easier to deploy in microservices such as virtual environment and this is a perfect solution for edge-based system applications in future this is all for our research of video keyframe extraction with um, uh, compact neural network thank you for listening